welcome to the Southside Help Center Show. We'd like to thank everyone for tuning in. And again, this is the live call-in show. So if you have any questions, please give us a call here at the station. Our number here, 312-738-1060. It is a live call-in show. And if you give me a call, I'll do my best to answer any questions that you may have. And once again, this is the Southside Help Center Show. I'd like to thank everyone for tuning in. And before we begin, we really want to pay homage to um, our founder, Mrs. Betty Smith. We truly appreciate her and thank her um, for establishing the agency just about 30 years. This is our 30-year anniversary this year, so we've been around for quite some time. I'd like to thank Betty Smith for that. And also, our executive director, Mrs. Vanessa Smith, who is currently running the agency and allowing us this opportunity to be a part of our community. So once again, we'd like to thank our founder and our executive director um, of the Southside Help Center. And also, you can always go online. You can get us at www.southsidehelp.org, www.southsidehelp.org. Um, and you can go online and check out all of the different programs that the Southside Help Center has to offer. Or you can come by the office. We're located 10420 South Halsted. 10420 South Halsted. And we've been there for quite some time. So, and our office hours are from 9 to 5.30. Those are the traditional hours that we do in the office. But, of course, in our outreach efforts, we do. Um, we're out a lot later than that. So, again... Uh, come by the agency, check us out, find out about the programs that we have to offer, as well as go online, www.southsidehelp.org. We'd like to thank you uh, again for tuning in. If you have any questions, please give us a call here at the station. Also, really quickly, I'm going to go to the website because I want you guys to see. All you have to do is go to the website, find out which program you're interested in. Again, we have a number of different programs that we're offering at the Southside Help Center. Um, we got our HIV prevention education program, we got our capacity building programs, as well as our youth services and direct services. We're going to talk a little bit about what these programs are, and we're going to start with um, our um, HIV prevention education because, of course, you know that is one of my passions is HIV prevention and education, so I'm going to make sure that we talk a little bit about that. So when we start talking about programming, we're going to focus on HIV prevention, youth services, capacity building, as well as direct services. Um, and, the, and, and with the HIV prevention education, we're going to focus more on that today's show where we talk about um, what needs to happen for people to get HIV testing um, and how to go about doing that. But before we go into that, let's talk a little bit about the capacity building. What is capacity building? Because Southside Health Center has been doing HIV prevention and education as well as other youth services and direct services for 30 years. This is our 30-year anniversary, so we are truly blessed and grateful um, to be around so long. And um, with that being said, we've been able to go and do a lot of things in the community as far as the research, as far as the outreach prevention, as far as the techniques and strategies. So Southside Health Center has for years been a capacity builder. What does that mean? Say, for instance, your agency is doing outreach, whether it's community or street. You can always contact us, and we help and uh, come out and provide direction in street and community outreach. Um, as well as we've been in the past offered trainings through the Chicago Department of Public Health or in collaboration with the Chicago Department of Public Health. So capacity building is just talks about making your good program a better program. So it just deals with HIV prevention, education, outreach, community, direct services, and those things. So if you're an agency who um, are in need of some sort of capacity building services, please contact the agency. Our um, General number is 773-445-5445. Check, uh, contact the agency if you're in need of any capacity building and find out if it's some services that we can definitely offer you guys. Again, if you're a smaller agency, or not just a smaller agency, or if you're a larger agency and you want to get um, um, uh, um, information or capacity building around prevention, and, and please give us a call. We have been in the business for 30 years, so thank God and... Um, um, Betty and, and Vanessa for allowing us that opportunity and also for all of those individuals who work at the center. And we got a lot of people who have been there for a long time. So we do provide capacity building. And if you're an agency in need of those services, contact the agency. Let us know what your needs are and we'll see what we can do to help in fulfilling those needs. And that deals directly with the capacity building. Also, when we start talking about direct services, Direct services at the Southside Health Center speaks to HIV prevention and education for HIV positive clients. That means we have case management. We got Ryan White, we got Doris Case Management. And what a case manager does for someone who's impacted with HIV is it simply helps them to navigate the system. With that, there's a number of different services that come along with that. They um, 
They help you with finding housing. Also, they help you with making sure that your rent get paid. We also make referrals um, where we may be dealing with food and clothing. So when you talk about direct services, that's those case management services who, one, uh, of course, we do directly for people who are impacted or HIV positive. We also have psychosocial programs. That means that there's groups available for individuals who are HIV positive to come in and talk about um, how they're feeling, how they're living, what we can do to help make that situation better. So with those direct services, we also offer psychosocial um, workshops as well. So you would have to contact Ms. Peaches Fondurn, who is, again, our director of operation, as well as uh, she deals with the psychosocial. So if that's something that you think you would want to be a part of, call the agency, 773-445-5445, ask for Mrs. Peaches Fondurn, and she'll give you um, all of the information you need to know what it is to be a part of that psychosocial. If, in fact, you are someone, a uh, family member who's aware of someone who's HIV impacted or HIV infected, and then you want to make sure to call, um, you can do that on their behalf as long as they're aware of it so that you can make sure that people are getting the necessary services, be it psychosocial, um, direct services, making sure the housing and all of those things are in order. And again, case management is specifically designed to help individuals to navigate the system. We know that when people become HIV positive, there's a lot of things going on, not only in their mind, but in their world. These particular case managers, we have a number of them who are phenomenal. We got, uh, we got Dorian and we got Ms. Arlette Brooks and um, these individuals, Ms. Felicia Simpson, and they are phenomenal um, case managers. And again, we want to make sure that we're accountable. So when you talk about case management at Southside Health Center, you're talking about individuals who are going to be accountable to make sure that what needs to happen happens. They are going to help you to navigate the system. So if you're HIV positive or you know someone who are in need of direct services, please, by all means, call the center. Help us to help you. We talk about for years how... Um, we have services in our community, and people are just unaware that those services are there. We've been doing street and community outreach for a lot of years, and even now, um, when we're out on the vehicle, you have a lot of people who say, you know, they've never even heard or seen us. So we got to make sure that we get the word out, not just about Southside Health Center, but all of our community programs so people can take advantage of these programs. And, of course, you know if you don't use them, you lose them. So please, please, please go to the website. Find out if there's something at Southside Health Center um, has going on and they can actually help you and then you can in fact call or come in um, again 10420 South Halsted come into the office between 9 and 5 30 someone's there and they can help you so please go on the website if you need more information about specific programs and tap on there or you can give us a call at the agency so that you can get as much information as you can about the programs that are being given um, or being provided at the Southside Health Center. Again, this is a live call-in show. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please give us a call at the station, 312-738-1060, 312-738-1060. Give me a call at the station, I'll answer those questions. Now, one of the other things that I'm really, really, really excited about, I'm going to go to the overhead really quickly. And it talks about Southside Help Center's drum line. Oh, my God. This is a phenomenal, phenomenal thing. And let me make sure that you see it says free, free, free. These programs that Southside are offering are free programs. Please take advantage of the free programs. We are always talking about the problems that we have in our community. Now let's talk about some of the solutions. Most time, when our young people are getting in trouble or doing things that they shouldn't, it's because they don't have anything to fill those voids. So now, take advantage of these programs. When I talk about the drum line, it offers a number of different things. One, it takes away some of the time that um, an individual may have. And it's not just boys. Boys and girls can join the drum line. Two, it allows you to learn a skill, you know, to, a, a, a musician. You can become a musician. You can become... Um, whatever it is that you want to be, but this is a way to um, help you in achieving those goals. And again, we often talk about the problems within our community, and I know so oftentimes because our young people don't have nothing to do, and we always talk about idle time is a devil's workplace. That is really true. So with the drum line, and I'm saying these are free services, please contact Miss Tasia Smith, Miss Tasia Bell Smith, contact her and find out how you can get your children engaged in this drumline program. The program works from 8 to 18. From 8 to 18, the drumline is available. I'm going to show you that one more time because I want people to see this is a free program that we're offering at the center. And again, 
We're looking for interested participants to join the Southside Help Center. Drumline. Join the Southside Help Center. Drumline. For more information, contact Ms. Tasia Bell Smith. Also, it is a free program. I cannot express that enough. Free program. And oftentimes when we get to the Bud Billington Parade in August, we see all of those young people out there banging them drums and twirling those rifles and so forth. It is magnificent. But there's truly not enough programs in our city for our young people. So take advantage of this program. Call the center. Talk to Ms. Smith, Tasia Bell Smith. Talk to her and find out what's necessary for your child to become a part of this drumline. And again, it's free. That program focuses on 8 to 18. Again, we have to make sure in order for our kids to be um, successful, we have to make sure that they get exposed. This is a safe environment for them. This is a safe environment for them. So please, if they're interested in playing drums or an instrument or whatever, please bring them by the center. Let them get involved in Southside Health Center's drum line. As well as we have after school programs. I'm just going to switch that out real quickly just so you can kind of see. We also have after school programs. And I've been talking about this after school program because not only do they help you with homework, they, they, it's, it's, and it's, from, it's really amazing. We're talking about third through 11th grade students can join the Southside Health Center after school program. But please, 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 I cannot express enough that we need young people to take advantage of the free programs that we have so that we can keep them off of these streets. Not only that, we can provide them with a safe place and teach them a skill is very important. Same thing with the after school programs. We have a lot of qualified individuals. We get a lot of volunteers from the universities, a lot of the high schools that are um, doing service learning hours with our young people, but they're coming in and they're helping to tutor these young people. Take advantage of that program. And that goes from grades three to, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's, um, it recruits from grades three to 11. Ms. Bell will be in the schools over the next couple of weeks. So if you see Ms. Smith, her name is Tasia Bell Smith, She's with the Southside Health Center Youth Department. She's the youth director. If you see her in the school, please grab hold of her and find out what we can do. I'd like to talk about the problems that we have in the city of Chicago. And, of course, we know um, Chicago, of course, last year um, had more homicides than anyone else. And one of the reasons I know is because so oftentimes our children don't have a lot of things to do. Let's get them involved in the drum line. Let's get them involved in after school programs so that they don't get involved in, into gangs and other things. So please, people, take advantage of these programs. Parents, help us to help you. We know that parents have to work. We know that a lot of times they're not able to get home when the kids get out of school. Well, guess what? Bring those kids to the center so that that way you know where they are, you know what they're doing, and they're in a safe place. Again, Southside Health Center has been providing youth services for 30 years. We're very good at it, so please take advantage of the program so that you can keep the kids off the street. Um, don't be the one to point the finger. Help us in terms of our community, saving our community, saving our young people, giving them directions. This is two vital programs Southside Help Center is offering. One is the after school program, and it offers tutoring as well as they do games and they do um, spoken word and a lot of different things in there. Also, we have the drum line, Southside Help Center drum line. Now, with that drum line program, it goes from 8 to 18, but we are looking for um, those individuals, 19 to 25, who may be interested in participating and assisting with those programs to come and volunteer. If you have any skill sets or any, you've played a drum and you would like to teach some young people and pass that on, by all means, come to the center, talk to Ms. Bell, fill out a volunteer application so that you can help and support in these programs. It's real easy. Um, for us as a people to talk about the problems in our communities. But now, let's talk about the solutions. And we do have some solutions. We just need parents and community individuals to push those agendas forward. So please bring the kids to the center, take advantage of the programs that we have to offer, and help to keep those kids off the street, and help us to bring our crime rate down in the city of Chicago. After-school programs are phenomenal. And they may be struggling with homework, or they may be struggling with their math, and their reading, and their spelling, and so forth. We got somebody there that can assist them with those things, parents. Take advantage of it. Help us to help you by being a part of the Southside Help Center's youth programs. 
uh, I cannot say enough about them. So I'll continue over the next few weeks talking about those youth programs. If you have any questions about the youth programs, call me here at the station, the live call-in show, 312-738-1060. 312-738-1060, the number's right on the front of the screen. It is a live call-in show. If you have any questions about those youth programs, please call us here at the station. If you miss me here, go online, www.southsidehelp.org. And you can um, reach me that way, or you can call the center, 773-445-5445. Also, we do a lot of stuff in collaboration with other community agencies, and, and, and we're going to talk about a couple of those things. One of the things we're doing is with our male mentoring program. Um, we, um, in conjunction with Living Grace, um, Living Grace Church, is we're providing a male mentoring program that meets every Saturday and every, third, uh, every second and fourth Saturday of the month. Every second and fourth Saturday of the month, we're offering a mentoring program. The mentoring program goes from 9 until 11. We got an open gym. So, guys, we got a gym. Parents, we got a gym. They can come in. They can play basketball. But we also provide workshops. What do these workshops consist of? We're talking about violence prevention. We're talking about conflict resolution. We're talking about hygiene. We're talking about attitudes. We're talking about all of those things that will make a boy a real rounded man. And we got a lot of great men that are involved in this program. Uh, 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 pastor France, who is our pastor, he, he, he um, oversees the program. And again, we'd like to thank him, Pastor France at Living Grace Church, for overseeing the program and allowing us to use the facility to be able to provide this mentoring program for these young people. And, of course, when we have an open gym, we always have a safe place. So that's why I want to make sure that you understand, parents, if you would like to be a part of the male mentoring program in collaboration with Living Grace, Call me, 773-445-5445, or you can reach me at 701-4235, uh, uh, and you'll be able to get me that way as well. Um, and or, or come by the center and talk to me about it, or call here, uh, CAN TV, 312-738-1060, um, uh, if you'd like more information about that male mentoring program, because we are trying to save our children. So we are not only providing programs, when we talk about conflict resolution, what does that mean? So oftentimes when our kids are brought into a conflict or something that is unfamiliar, because we don't have anything in place, most times we react to those situations, and a lot of times it's not reacting the right way. But once you know that these individuals have been learned or taught a set skill on how to deal with conflict, how to avoid conflict, it will amaze you. Uh, the decisions that they was then began to make. So let's um, let's better prepare our children. These programs are available for us parents. Take advantage of the programs where we can talk about violence prevention. Well, what do that mean? We're talking about trying to prevent our kids from getting involved in gangs and also in violence. And I'll tell you, I did a workshop um, for an agency not too long ago, and there were five young brothers in there, and all five of them had gun cases. All five of them, it was four 14-year-olds and one 15-year-old. Four 14-year-olds, one 15-year-old, that made it. it was five kids in there. And each one of those kids were mandated by the court to be there because they had gotten caught with a firearm. And they were all kids. And when I look at them, you know, of course I see my own children, my sons, and, and I think about how young these young brothers is. And I say, wow, you know, they don't really have a chance because most time they're not seeing anything but negativity. So if that's all you know, then of course that's what you're going to do. So let's expose them to some different things. So when I saw uh, the five young brothers in there and 14, uh, four 14 year olds and one 15 year old and all of them had been caught with guns, it really, you know, I was afraid. It scared me. It scared me because I thought about our future and what that really looks like because if our young brothers is believing and thinking that they have to carry guns or firearms on the street, there's a problem here, people. So now that we have an opportunity to help in fixing a problem, let's take advantage of that. Male mentoring programs are very vital. So we, when we do male mentoring programs, we bring men together. And again, we talk about iron sharpening iron. We bring men together who have different skill sets so that they can impart this information onto our young people so that when they do come across a situation, one, where they're dealing with peer pressure, well, what does that look like? What is peer pressure and how do you deal with it? That's what we're talking about at these programs. How do you deal with the peer pressure so that when you have all these individuals coming to you with this negativity, what can you do to combat that? Well, that's a skill. And if you don't know what to do, nine times out of ten, you're going to fall victim to it. 
Also, parents, one of the things that I realized through the years, peer press can tear down 15, 16 years of hard work. We have to teach them skill sets so that when they come into these situations, they'll know how to deal with them. They'll know what to do and what to say to get out of them. And the other thing is if we provide them with a place um, and deal with that idle time, oftentimes that's not something we have to worry about. So that means when they get out of school, what are your kids doing when they get out of school? Are there going to be some programs available to them until which time is bedtime and they can start the day again on the next day? These are the things that we're talking about. These are the programs that we're offering. Also, we deal with hygiene. Um, one of the biggest things with our um, youth, um, not just male but females, and that's just another step, but when we're talking about males, it's, it's presentation. We talk about attitude. Attitude is key in our community. And, of course, if you don't have the right attitude, most of the time you're not going to get the proper response. One of the things we talk about, we got some officers who come to the class, and one of the biggest things they talk about is when they approach individuals in the street, most of the time, 90% of the time, they say it deals with attitude. You know, if you come with the wrong attitude, then I'm going to react and respond the same way that you do. So we talk about attitude and what that looked like. The other thing is presentation. People always say that you cannot judge um, only God can judge me. Well, that's not true. I can judge you based on what you present to me. So don't go to talking about only God can judge me because that's not true. People judge you all the time. And that's going to be the first thing is how you're presenting yourself to the world. These are different workshops that we're going to present with our young brothers so that they'll know as men there's a particular way that you present yourself to the world so that, one, you don't have to go into this fight immediately with the deck stack because of how you're presenting yourself. So don't say that only God can judge because that's not true. People can judge you as well. So, again, what are you putting in the world? And the thing is, it's not even about me as much as it is about you. What are you doing or what are you presenting to the world? Because, again, I can't blame your parents. I can't blame the society. I only see you. So now I want to help you to present to the world something different. So that's a part of our male mentoring program. Um, a number of programs. Please take advantage of the programs. Contact us at the center, www.southsidehelp.org, or come by the center, 10420 uh, South Halsted, or call us here on the show. I'm, I mean, I'm pleading with us um, because I know that it's necessary for us to save our young brothers and sisters, that we as a people, that we as a community truly come together and have some concrete programs uh, for these young people. Also, we got National HIV Test and National Black Awareness Day coming up, which is going to be February 7th, National Black Awareness. And what we're doing is we, oh man, it's going to be phenomenal. We are working with Brother Quentin. He's at Turkey Chop on the west side of Chicago. And what we're going to do on that day, we're going to be posted up. Southside Health Center is going to be on the west side with tur at Turkey Chop. We're going to be um, with the mobile units, and we're going to be providing free HIV testing. But one of the things is, is because he's, um, Brother Quentin has done so many things with the homeless, um, and he feeds on Monday. Next week, I'll make sure that I have all of the information available for you. But what we're going to do is we're going to collaborate with him on that day, and we'll be able to provide anyone that's getting tested, we'll put $10 towards your meal. So that means that, you know, yes, there are things on the menu, on the menu that you can get for the 10 but we're going to put $10 towards your menu. And this is a collaborative effort with Brother Quentin at Turkey Chop to make sure that we're, one, able to assist in feeding our community, too, keeping our community healthy with the HIV prevention and education. We always talk about HIV testing and counseling, but again, a negative result is just as important as a positive result because if you know what your result is, know your status, and when you know your status, then of course you're going to monitor your behavior. If it's a negative HIV status, you want to know what to do to stay negative. If it's a positive, you want to know what to do to stay healthy. One of the other things that we have, we work um, in conjunction with AHF. We're affiliated with AHF. Next week, I'm going to talk a little bit better about AHF in depth because it is a phenomenal organization that we are hooked up with. And through AHF, we have two clinics available for HIV-positive people. So we're not just testing people, telling them their status. We're plugging them into treatment. We're plugging them into service. So it's important that people take advantage of these services. So next week when we come back, I'm going to talk a little bit more about Quentin and Turkey Chop and what we're going to be doing over there on the 7th, which is a Tuesday, and how people can take advantage of it. It's going to be a phenomenal program as well as we'll be able to talk a little bit more about AHF and what they're doing in collaboration with Southside Health Center. So once again, I truly, truly, truly would like to thank everyone for tuning in. And please 
Take advantage of the programs that I'm talking about. Reach out to us, www.southsidehelp.org, or call us, 773-445-5445. Or if you see one of the trucks out there, knock out HIV, testing makes us stronger. Stop us, find out what we got going on, take advantage of the programs. I thank everyone for tuning in. Until I see you again, we bid you peace.